Hey guys, Dennis back with a brand new video. So do you have an Elegoo Neptune 3 Series printer? So they have the Pro, the Plus, and the Max. If you have one of those three printers, today I'm gonna show you how to level that printer, whether you just took it out of the box and assembled it, or you're looking to get some better prints and you're having adhesion issues on the bed, I'm gonna show you how to fix those. All right, so here is my Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus. It has one of these flexible PEI sheets on here. I've been using this printer now for a few months, and I'm gonna show you how to make sure that your bed is level. All right, so we're gonna grab our screen, and you'll notice that on the screen, there is a button for level. So we're gonna hit that, and it's gonna say, this will trigger return to zero action, confirm. So what it's gonna do, it's going to zero the X, Y, and Z axis. All right, so now what happens is after you zero all of those axes out, it's gonna come to this screen here. Now, if you've previously done the auto level, you will have values in here. And what you first wanna do here is you wanna look at this value right here. So this is negative 2.39 millimeters. That is the Z offset. So you have two options for leveling your bed. Most people use a piece of paper. What I like to use is a 0.1 millimeter metal feeler gauge. People use these to check gaps on spark plugs. Well, you can also use this to level your 3D printer. Now, I like to use these metal feeler gauges because they're a lot more consistent than using a piece of paper. When you slide a piece of paper under your printer nozzle, that nozzle can actually dig into that paper and it will actually compact the paper down a little bit and you won't get really consistent results. So by using a metal feeler gauge here, and I'm using a 0 0.102, a 0.1, Fine. I've actually seen people go all the way up to 0.2 millimeter and get really good results. Your next step is to set your Z offset. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the feeler gauge underneath our print head and we're gonna see where we need to adjust our Z offset. Now, one thing I do recommend is they do sell longer versions of these and it's a lot easier to get under one of these big print heads that has the integrated direct drive extruder on it than using one of these short ones, but you can get in from the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath the nozzle and see if there's any friction there, and there's not. So I, what I need to do is I need to lower my setting. Okay, so on your screen, you have a couple options. You have 0 0.01, 0 0.1, and one millimeter. I like to use 0 0.01 when it's really close. If there's a significant gap, you can use 0 0.1 and bring it down a little bit closer, but 0 0.01 gives you the best resolution for getting this right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the Z offset until I don't feel the feeler gauge coming in contact with the print head. And I have a setting of negative 2.33. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down in 0 0.01 increments until I feel just the tiniest bit of resistance on the print nozzle. Now you don't want it down so low where it's actually raising this up because there is a little bit of play in here where it's raising this up when you're trying to slide it under. All right, I'm at negative 2.39 now, and I'm starting to feel a little bit of resistance here, and I think uh, 2.41 is gonna be our number. So negative 2.41 is our number for our Z offset. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna manually tram the bed next, so we're gonna hit manual, and it's gonna say adjust the distance between the nozzle and the bed by turning the nuts on the bed until we have a little bit of resistance on that feeler gauge. Now, it's basically what we just did at the Z offset position. So we're gonna hit confirm. Now, this particular printer has six adjusters on here. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go through each of the six. So we're gonna go to position one first and it's gonna bring it to the front left side and it brings it right to the front left side right above where this adjuster is. And then we wanna do the same thing right here. And then we're gonna uh, use our adjuster, counterclockwise raises it and clockwise lowers it. So we want the same feeling where it's just brushing underneath that print nozzle. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to position two. Now, this is different than an ender. You don't wanna go crisscross like on an ender because there's only four adjusters on an ender. There's six here. So there's actually an adjuster in the middle on the left and right. And then one other thing before you start, I forgot to mention, is you wanna make sure your nozzle is clean. You don't want any little bits of PLA hanging down because that will affect 
how this works. All right, so now after all six spots are done, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the home button and it's gonna say auxiliary level and completed. Press confirm to auto level immediately. Press cancel and it will clear the previous auto leveling measurement data. So we're gonna hit confirm and you're gonna see it's gonna heat up the nozzle and the print bed. All right, so we're just gonna wait for it to get up to temp and then you'll notice that it'll go, it'll start from one and it'll go all the way up to mesh point 49. And what it does is it's using the Z sensor on here and it is calculating the offset and if you have any warpage on your bed or on your plate, it's gonna account for that when it does this auto level. All right, so we're at temp. You'll see what it's gonna do now is it's going to zero the X, it's gonna zero the Y, it's gonna come over, zero the Z once more, and it's gonna zero that with that offset that we put in, and then it's gonna go over to mesh point one, which is the front left side. And as it finishes on each of the mesh points, that number will light up. And it's fairly quick. Uh, you know, it takes probably about maybe two or three minutes to go through all the points. All right, now it gives you a new message after it's finished doing the auto mesh level. It says, pay attention to the distance between the nozzle and the bed, about the thickness of a sheet of A4 paper can be adjusted by Z offset. So we hit confirm. You'll see that now we have a bunch of new measurements here. All right, and what we're gonna do now is since it's back in that home position, we're gonna check once more with our feeler gauge to see if we need to make any fine tuned adjustments to that Z offset. All right, so negative 2.38 is our final Z offset. And then we're basically done. Now we can load a model in and print it and do some tests. All right guys, so once your bed is level, just load up a fresh print on your SD card, load that into your printer, put in your favorite PLA and give it a shot. As you can see here, we're getting perfect layer lines. All right guys, and if you found this video useful, pleased to, pleased to meet you, I don't know. There's always some kind of mess up at the end of my videos here and I always leave them in. But anyways, if you found the video useful, make sure to drop a like and drop a comment if you want. Let me know if you have any ideas for uh, new videos on the Elegoo Neptune. I love this printer, I use it all the time, almost daily now. Um, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button or else.